Give me a baseline. Awesome. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians. We have roughly 6,000 species represented in the collection. Every single specimen in there has an amazing story to tell. Sweet mother of scientific discovery! So people think about snakes being slimy, and that's not at all the case. Snakes don't even have skin glands, so they don't produce oil or sweat like humans do. So when you think about a snake being slimy, just realize that from the snake's perspective, the human holding that snake is far slimier because our skin is producing oil and sweat. Phew! Is it hot in here? And so this is uh, my pet snake, Audubon, who this is a ball python, and I got him when I was 15 years old. So he's roughly 27 years old, and I would say is a pretty good pet. Aw, El Diablo likes you. So ball pythons are capable of seeing heat. And that's what we're trying to show with this camera behind me, which is picking up the heat signature from both me and the snake. And not surprisingly, the snake is, is much cooler right now. Amphibians use slime in a huge variety of ways. I think the most amazing slime story is these little tiny salamanders that might only be, you know, about the width of a pencil and maybe three inches long. If they are attacked by a snake, that they can produce these sticky skin secretions that'll actually kind of glue that snake to itself, giving the salamander a chance to walk away. Wow. If a kid wants to be a scientist, I think a really important message is that Classes are great, but what scientists really do is, is they're not taking classes. If they need to learn something, they go out and they research it themselves. Oh, Barrel 